hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am doing a current favorites video sorry i really have to think about that it's just of like everything i've been loving everything beauty everything like skincare everything like home bit YC. um so yeah let's stop fuffling on and let's get into it the first thing i have is this kiehl's daily reviving concentrate and i've talked about this in a few videos now i think this is absolutely amazing i use it every day before my makeup as like a moisturizer i have quite dry skin and i just i feel like with this like my makeup never looks like cakey or flaky or anything on my skin it just looks like my skin and i really really love that and yeah this is my second bottle so i can firmly confirm that it is the best thing ever and the sun's out the second oil i have is this um organic cold pressed rose hips rose hip seed oil and this one is from the ordinary company i have been really liking this i know that loads of people use it for like their skin like their face i have been using it for my belly just for like preventing stretch marks but i know it's really good for um like scars on your face or any like hydration or youth it doesn't smell very good but it does wonders for the skin so yes if you suffer with anything like that then i definitely recommend this so next i have this lip balm and i know that lip balm is like a really silly thing to add to a favorites video but it's the kills lip balm is the number one lip balm and i have two i have this one and i have the mango one and they are just so good i know lip balms that say that they're moisturizing and they're really not but this one i like i'll apply it and my lips feel hydrated and once it evaporates my lips don't go back to feeling dry so i keep one with me in my handbag and then i keep one at home just like on my makeup bag and i always pop it on like when i do my makeup when i start on my skincare i'll always pop this on my lips just because now that it's getting colder my lips get dry so next is this ice ice blonde toner it's the color on toner it's like six pounds from super drugs um i have been like highlighting my hair it looks really dark on camera so you probably can't tell now that i keep cutting it so it keeps like fading i googled so much different things that would like help me to um get rid of the brassiness and i spend so much money on so many different things and nothing really seemed to help and then i stumbled across a youtube video and the girl used this and her hair looked amazing like it looked really nice and she was brunette it's semi-permanent and it says on the back that it's suitable for color correction and it can be used for balayage dip dye ombre and other fashion effects so i bought it and i used it and it got rid of all the brassiness in my hair and i loved it it's so cheap it's so like reachable i guess you could say and you can get it from super drugs i've tried to find it in boots but in every single one of that that i've been to i haven't been able to find it so um yeah super drug then i have two lipsticks and they're just these two lipsticks um i'm actually wearing the urban decay one right now in the color crimson and then i've got this stiller one in the color Bessel. they're really similar to be honest i have been loving red lipstick at the moment i don't feel like these wash me out or anything like that they're like true reds i love that they're liquid lipsticks because i don't have to like worry about reapplying or anything like that i'm actually quite lazy when it comes to lipstick like i cannot be bothered i really cannot once i apply it i just forget about it and i leave it and then everyone's like in as your lipsticks like gone and i'm like oh yeah i'll put them on um but these are nice because they last really nicely I'll eat and I won't necessarily need to reapply it. I mean, 
reapplying it like in the middle of the lip would be nice but I get away with it and I love them lastly for makeup not that I had a lot of makeup I had to make products uh, but it's my naked heat palette I have been using this since it came out I'm sure that you've seen it I think it'll be great for autumn just because it has like really warm like autumn -y shades um but it's it's lovely it's super pigmented it's they're really easy to blend i have palettes that are really similar to these like the kylie jenner palette i think is the bronzed palette that has a lot of shades that are similar to it but um because this one has like a massive mirror it's just like nice to like take with you so yes i'd be loving the naked heat next i have two fragrances and i've got chloe i have to add chloe here just because i will never not love chloe i have been wearing this fragrance since i was 16 um so i mean quite a few years and i love it like i always say to people that this is what i wear on my wedding day i know people that are like i love that perfume but i can't buy it because you wear it so much that it would just remind me of me of you all the time oh it's just so nice and it's a fragrance that really lingers like if i wear like a coat and then i spray myself and i'm running out the door and i'll put the coat back in the closet when i get it out again i can still smell this in it because that one's a lot more like floral and fresh and stuff for autumn i wanted to change things up a bit and last year I bought Black Opium by YSL and it smells so good. It's like, like that one, I think it's like girly and fresh and florally. I can't say that very well, but yeah, you get what I mean. Whereas this one is like dark and like it's like sexy and I don't know it's just really nice I love it if I'm going out not that I've been doing a lot of it recently but if I am going out and I love wearing this the next thing is just this nail polish and it is um, satin pyjamas and it's a shellac nail polish and it's what I've got on my nails right now it's just really like fresh it's a nude but it's still really pink so i'm out of breath i just want to get it it's just it's so lovely i really like it i love wearing like shades like this and i know it's not very like autumn-y but it's just gorgeous and it's so shiny for so long because it's shellac and lastly i have a candle of course this is the yankee candle in home sweet home and it just smells so good it smells like cinnamon and like homely and like autumn and before this kind of scent i would have hated so bad but i bought it once and i have just loved it so much like i'll burn it i burnt i burnt it all summer to be honest and i still loved it but i found this one and this one's a little bit more like apple-y. It's called Warm Apple and Cinnamon. But the Yankee Candle is £15 and this one was three quid. It was three pounds. So if you don't want to spend all that money on the Yankee Candles, then that is a great alternative. It's a little bit different. It's like I said, it's more like apple-y than it is like warm and like cinnamony but i still love like apple scents so yeah that one was great as well great find and that is the end of my favorites video i'm sorry it's a little bit rushed in the end but my camera is flashing red and i don't want it to die before i get to say goodbye i hope that you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and until my next video i'll see you guys soon bye